So guys, I'm on my own today, but I need to move the boat, I need to get to Northwich because um, I've got no internet at all and last week's video needs to get uploaded. And I started it off last night at 3 a.m. because I was editing it till three in the morning. And then this morning when I got up, it had done 6%. So there's not enough internet here to upload. So uh, <laughs> I need to move because otherwise tonight you've got no video. <laughs> so come on, let's go. I also need to get somewhere where Jackie can visit so once I'm all moored up I'll send her a postcode and then she'll know where to find me. So it's a lovely calm day on the river. I'm not going to thrash the old girl today. I'm going to keep her nice and calm. Not like last time where I thrashed the living daylights out of her. So I'm hoping there's going to be some moorings available at Northwich. I've never actually moored on the pontoons in Northwich. Of all the times I've been on the Weaver, I've never been able to get in. Um, it's always been too busy, but with it being sort of out of season now, I'm hoping I'll get a space on there. on the river today and it's pretty much a brilliant river this especially if you're on your own it's very calm it's not like the river trent where i was on that once in february and uh yeah did shit myself but this it's um it's really lovely and calm but the thing is with rivers is they can change at any time the main thing that's different with the rivers is um canal has a towpath going along so if anything happens you can just pull in somewhere it might be a bit too shallow but you can at least get yourself grounded on something but on a river there's a lot of the time there's no towpath that goes along the side so if i was to break down now on my own on my boat i'd just have to float around and hope for another boat but the thing is with winter there's not many boats moving so you just i don't know probably throw me anchor over sit there and go and get kettle on I suppose, make a coffee, even get the rum out. There's no point stressing about things like that, if they happen you just deal with it don't you? Yeah. Well hey, I can see a space, so it's just past this wide beam so I'm just going to come into more now. So I made it onto this mooring, which is absolutely fantastic. So you'll notice that even though there's cleats here and on a lot of these pontoons, is I never tie off to the cleat, I always tie off to the boat. And the main reason for that being that it's easy for someone to untie you from a cleat without you noticing, whereas if they've got to get on your boat to untie you, you more often than not feel the boat move. So that's one of the main reasons. So when we cast adrift on a river, but the good thing about it here is the secure mooring. So you need a key to get out, which is, um, Brilliant, one of the BW keys that we have, us boaters have. You can see the gate there, that's a BW key. So there's a cinema here, bars and restaurants, all your shops are just there in Northwich, so fantastic. So this'll do for a bit. So I've made one brew for now and one brew for Ron. Later on. <laughs> what you got there, Jax? 
<laughs> they're naughty. What have we got? We've got Mackey D's. <laughs> got a double Big Mac. <laughs> so this is the downside being moored right next to all the amenities. Double Big Mac. <gasps> Diet starts tomorrow, everyone. <laughs> it always starts tomorrow. Where are we going today, Jax? For breakfast. It's Jackie's birthday today. I'm not going to say how old she is, but she's uh, old. <laughs> so it's a bit too early for a beer. What time is it, Jack? It's half past ten. Oh, it's not far it's not off, too early. Not far. <laughs> so I think we're going in here because we're uh, we like a nice bap, and they say they've got the best baps, Jack. Oh, good. Okay. Looks lovely, doesn't it? Nice, isn't it? Hello, guys. So we're loving it in here. We don't want to get a copyright strike because of the music there. Well, let me just do some B shots <laughs> and show you what some of the stuff's like in here. It's dead quirky. You love it. You got Jack's breakfast. Look at that. And I've started my diet, so I'm not having any carbs. So she's having my toast, my hash browns, and my beans. Yeah, Oh, yes. Hey everyone, I'm still on the River Weaver at Northwich. I'm meant to be at Hunt's Lock today because I'm being pulled out the water tomorrow and having my bum blacked. But the weather over the last three days has been absolutely horrendous. 39 mile an hour winds, non-stop rain. I mean, it's still raining now. I don't know if you can hear it and it's still strong winds now, but I need to move today. Now I'm on my own and normally on a canal, I'd just brave it, I'd risk it. But on a river, I'm shitting myself, to be honest because it's not so much the cruising, but when you try to moor up on your own, pulling the boat in, it's really hard work. And if I lost my boat on a canal, it'll probably just get stuck or float away or just jackknife. But on a river being so wide, if I can't hold the boat, I could lose it. So um, yeah, I'm crapping myself. So I'm just waiting now for the wind to drop. Apparently about one or two o'clock today, it will drop down, but I need to get to Hunt's Lock today. So that's the plan. <laughs> So guys, I've decided to just go for it. You only live once, don't you? <laughs> Let's just go and it seems to have calmed down. It's gone quite, uh, wind's dropped. So let's go. But the first stop is to fill up with water and empty the toilet. too wide I just couldn't get off because the bank's quite high so yeah I'm trying to more like an absolute knob so this is me now scooting down the gunnels and uh, doing the splits to try and stand up on this high bank and get a groin strain lovely joys of boating people say that it's a lovely lifestyle and it is but it's very hard work as well it's not just about lying on your boat in the summer and in the winter by the log burner it's also you've got to cruise you've got to move all the time um, at least every two weeks anyway and you've got to get water empty your toilets all these sort of jobs so it's a uh, quite hard work and even if it's raining or windy you've still got to make sure you do it you can't just think oh, I'm having two weeks off and not doing anything you've got to otherwise you can't shower 
you can't go to the toilet so uh yeah so luckily i did survive the elson splashback today no splashbacks on me so that's the obstacle that was preventing me from mooring up well not preventing me but it was scaring me i wasn't sure how far i was off it i didn't want to get stuck so i'm on my own so yeah so it was that but um we're in we, we did it a couple of attempts <laughs> but we did it So as you can see the banking is quite high so I have to step up to it so it's going to struggle opening my doors my side hatches my flaps and um, but we're only just getting the water and then as soon as we're filled up now I'm going to cruise now to Hunts Lock and then I'm ready for all my blacking Woohoo! Still a little bit of a faff getting on and off so what i'm going to do when i leave here in a minute once the water tank's full is rather than going forward because i've got that obstruction and i can't see and i'll just cock it up is i'm going to reverse so uh reverse out and then we off we go yeah and we're off Let's try and get moored up before it's dark eh tell you a little bit about my pirate flag obviously it's not just decorative and makes my boat look amazing but it's also it blows in the wind so it enables me to see which way the wind's blowing which uh, sometimes helps me <laughs> so when I'm coming into more I know oh it's gonna blow me into the bank there or oh shit I'm gonna have to jump off and tie around something quick <laughs> yeah see ya Top tip, get yourself a pirate flag. I'm here ready moored up for tomorrow I'm moored a little bit like a twat but it's only for one night so it'll do I know you're not meant to moor on a centre line but I've got a loose rope on the front because I wear of the bollards of space it's just a bit crap and I forgot to shut the side hatches again oh my god so that means I've got to go out and loosen the ropes again but I'll just leave it all to cool down leave the engine to cool down for a bit and then I'll go and do that I need a brew in fact I need something stronger Cheers everyone. Ooh, that's nice. It was only $14.99 a bottle from Aldi, so I treat myself thanks to you guys that support me on buying me a coffee last week. You really are helping the channel so much, guys. You really, really are. I've been able to buy some memory cards. Puddings had a load of treats from you because some people are saying can you use it for puddings treats. I've been buying puddings treats and obviously a glass of rum. So thank you so much, guys. Let's have another sip. You meant to swish it like you are with wine. Oh yeah. Mm. Ooh, the bouquet smells very nice. I think I need another. Ooh, it's starting to warm me up now. So all that rum has been brought to you by this week's pirate crew. Stuart and Carol, Kirsty and Chris, Dave Fat Biker, Rob and Sue Sharples, Marcy and Nelson, Mike Heap, Mike Turney, Ralph Wood, Alan Harbit, Roger B, Mark Collins, Mike from Shrewsbury, PK's sister, Bruce and Maggie, Nanny Julie, Tessa and Caden, and Sean Dugan. Or Dugan, oh, I'm not sure how to pronounce his names, but thank you so much, guys!